buddy of mine uh, messaged me today saying, uh, you know, Stipe Cormier, who you got? You were mentioning uh, Deep Sea earlier. I haven't replied because I just don't know. Uh, you know, uh, Stipe really seemed to figure it out with those body shots and using his range in the second fight. And then DC, the incredible knockout uh, in the first. And, and DC, talk, people talking about him going to use his wrestling a bit more. But Stipe knows how to wrestle too. So I don't know how to call it. But you're the, you're the man to ask. Yeah, let, me, well, let me stop you there. Uh, Stipe doesn't know how to wrestle compared to DC. DC is a two-time Olympian. You, you, there's nobody in the division. I said this to Javier the, before in a podcast. I said this to DC in my very last podcast, which just, I just posted yesterday. <clears throat> And DC, you know, he, 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 I mean, seemed to agree. It's hard for him to agree because it's about him. And it would be cocky if he said, yes, you're right. But I don't think DC would have ever lost a fight in his life if he stuck to wrestling and fought safe, which a lot of fighters have chosen to do in their careers. Um, some of them even losing, um, but becoming boring, non-interesting fighters because they weren't fighting to win or they weren't fighting to entertain. They were fighting to fight safe. If DC wanted to grind, use his wrestling and fight safe and just get a win, he would have beat John Jones every fight and he would beat Stipe every fight. Um, period. Period. End of story. It, there's, no, there's no question about it. Um, but the thing is with DC is DC is a fighter. DC is an absolute fighter and he's going to go out there and he's going to knock out the heavyweight champion in the world when he wants to. I mean, like he did. Um, he's going to go out there and he's going to stand and fight with the best. He's going to grapple with the best. He's going to, you know, wrestle with them. He's going to do, that's just DC. Um, how he chooses to come out in this last fight, considering everything's on the line and considering in my podcast, he did say that this was going to be his last fight. Um, since everything is on the line, um, I expect he's going to fight a smart fight. And the thing is with DC, he can play a safe fight against Stipe and still make it very interesting. It's not like he's going to have to hold him and lock his wrist behind him, you know, lock his arms and hold him down and just, just sit there and, and hold him. You know what I mean? Like he's got vicious ground and pound. He's got great ground game, great transitions. Stipe is a great fighter. He's an absolutely, he's a beast. He's a monster. Um, but where we've seen DC fall short is striking with the man who is such a great striker, um, and DC's a wrestler, a wrestling background, who's managed to get away with striking a lot and beating a lot of people at striking, but that's where he opens himself up, and that's where John Jones was able to come in a lot of times, and that's where Stipe came in, obviously. He was doing really well against Stipe, and then Stipe came in and, and got him. Um, so skill for skill, verbatim what, what DC said in my podcast, he's a better fighter. I have no doubt in my mind he's a better fighter, and What's more important to note about this particular fight is it's his last. This is his legacy. This, this is to cement him as the greatest heavyweight fighter of all time. So if there's ever been a time for him to fight a smart fight, not let his ego get in the way, not let his pride get in the way, not go out there and try and knock out Stipe to prove a point because he already did it. He, he, already, he already did that anyway. Um, this is the time he has the opportunity to go out there, fight the best smart fight, and skill for skill, he has way too many weapons for Steve. At 41, at 42, how you know he's 41 now, but even at 42, like he even at that age, he has more skills than than Steve. Steve has to do a couple things to beat him, and that's it. DC can beat him all over the place, out grind him, outwork him 100%, uh, out wrestle him without a doubt. Um, and 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 you know his ground game is great. Um, and, and as we've seen, he can outstrike him too. I'm not saying overall every fight if they boxed, uh, DC's going to win. You know, like Steve is a monster. He's a beast. But he did do it. You know, he did knock him out. And, and so he did prove that he could, you know, find those openings. And where he can get away with knocking out someone like Steve is because his other game is so good that he's going to have Steve so worried about takedowns, so worried about the grind, so worried about just the, the, the dog fight that he's going to put on him that he's going to be more thinking about that than covering up many of the times, which is how he got caught the first time. And now you got a guy with really good striking like Stipe, who's going to be vulnerable, who's going to have his hands down, who's going to be working, thinking about takedowns, thinking about grinding, thinking about how tired he is, or thinking about, uh, you know, what DC is going to be doing instead of just striking like he usually does. And DC can then use that and land those big strikes. So uh, go ahead and pick DC and uh, make yourself look good. And, uh, and tell your buddy that he's going to win. And, uh, and that's what's going to happen. I have no doubt, man. And I love Stipe. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to hate on Stipe. 
I'm just telling you, DC to me is one of the greatest to ever do it alongside Khabib. You know, he, he says Khabib's the greatest to ever do it. I'm happy to call him both teammates of mine. I remember when both of them came to the gym, literally both of them. Um, and I'm just proud to have two of those guys on my on my team and, and that I've came up with. And, you know, I've missed a lot of their careers because I've been building this gym. Um, but I think they're two of the best it's ever been. And uh, I think both of them will prove it this year. I think uh, Khabib over Gaethje, even though I've always said Gaethje is the hardest, dangerous, most scary fight for me for Khabib, um, I think Khabib will do it, and I think DC will do it.